My name's Nathan Flannery, and for this video, I just want to provide you a little uh, overview of my internship uh, where I worked with Seton Catholic High School and their athletes. This was a 10-week internship. As I was going into this internship, I honestly didn't think that it was going to be as tough as it was. My goal for this program was to create one 10-week program that was going to benefit all of their athletes. The program was going to be implemented by their gym teacher who also fa facilitates their uh, workouts um, in the weight room. I would create this program, give it to him. I was going to check in every two weeks at the, the um, end and the beginning of each phase so that he knew exactly what they were supposed to be doing. And he was able to, you know, just make sure that they were doing the right methods that I was, I was giving him. I tracked. Um, certain data, data such as vertical jump, 10-yard dash, broad jump. So I found that these three um, exercises were the most important for just overall athletic ability. They each involve movements in different planes. I figured, you know, if the athlete becomes more explosive, um, that's the, be the best translator for me. Um, obviously, if you play basketball, um, or baseball or soccer or volleyball that th those th those uh, metrics are going to be um, pretty good indicators if you got better um, there's also other challenges you know you have kids who are biomechanic biomechanically um, they're just built different um, you know have females males um, as well as age age was a big one that's so that was a really challenging um, factor in this because the school does not break up kids from age groups. They just throw them all in. They have um, three different classes. So uh, they basically just put them all. It doesn't matter age group. You just kind of go where it fits in your schedule. Um, so I had to make a program that was going to, you know, that a 14-year-old uh, kid can do that a, the same as a, an 18-year-old kid can do. So those are few, some of the few, few of the challenges that I faced early on in the program. But, um, you know, I knew that... I needed a program that was gonna, uh, I would be able to implement and it was gonna benefit a kid who had been training, who had experience in the weight room, but then also a kid who can, who can just step right in and get bit, a lot of benefit from. Um, you know, this book was written, um, I think in 2016, so it's fairly new. Again, it's Triphasic Training by Ben Peterson and Cal Dietz. Cal Dietz is the Minnesota strength and conditioning coach um, I've got a lot of information from him. Uh, I think it's, this program is just really good because it's clearly broken up into different phases. Um, so it's, it's, it's originally a 20 week program, but I manipulated, manipulated it a certain way to where it would still be effective in a 10 week program. It uses block periodization, which simply means you work on certain qualities of exercise and movements in different periods. So. The first week, we I had the kids do GPP, which is, which is called General Physical Preparedness. Uh, basically, we work on aerobic conditioning qualities, so this just helps the athletes get into shape. Um, so I was always trying to uh, get their heart rate going, short rests, um, you know, a lot of jumping jacks, uh, sled pushes, um, you know, just even just push-ups, basic movements that I could do a lot of reps with as well. So it's like a bodybuilding slash conditioning um, period, just to get their bodies moving, get them in shape. Now weeks three and four, like I was just saying, those are that's the week where they focus on going down slow and controlled. This just works on the stabilizing muscles. Um, a lot of kids lack that because they all just want to go down fast, up fast. They want to be explosive as soon as they get in the weight room and they miss out on these qualities. So that's why this program, again, was going to be so beneficial for them because it just slows everything down. Even the advanced athletes, um, they've always, you know, growing up, they, they, they weren't taught these things. Um, so it all makes sense because the first thing you do in any movement is you go down and you control the weight. Whether, even if it's a bench press, you go down, you control the weight. So we did that. Um, with our compound movements for two weeks, we did everything slow controlled. Um, the first week I had them do five seconds. The second week I had them do six seconds. So it'd be one, two, and go one, all the way down, nice controlled, five seconds, explode up. If it was a squat, it would go down very slow, controlled, explode up. 
Um, and then the, that, was, that was week three and four. So weeks five and six, it was the isometric hold week where we would go, they would go down at a fairly normal pace, hold it at the bottom of a lift. For again, this was actually four and five seconds. And then on a bench press, they would hold it right here for four and five seconds, explode up. So week seven and week eight was the concentric phase, which is the phase that almost every athlete wants to go straight to, which is down fast, up fast. They always want to be explosive. But if you don't have those stabilizing muscles and, you're, and you can't absorb the weight, that's where injuries come in. Um, sadly, that's where a lot, why a lot of kids um, at early ages get injured when they're in the weight room not doing things correctly, not taking the correct steps. So this program, I really enjoyed it. Um, it just allowed kids to uh, take the necessary steps, um, you know, to be able to explode with a weight. So that was, that took literally um, six, seven weeks just to get to that point. Um, and then the last the weeks, nine and week 10, we did more plyometrics. I introduced them to those kind of movements, uh, body weight plyometrics. Kids wanna be fancy. They wanna get straight to all those fancy um, movements and jumps, but you know, it took us literally eight, nine weeks to get to that point. So that, 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 the week nine and week 10 of the program was uh, dedicated for power, which power is basically speed and time. Uh, so uh, we, br I broke that up so that they can, you know, it was a little more fun week, you know, we, we, that's when we tested um, for our result. I mean, results really were crazy. Uh, but, um, you know, overall this program, uh, I, I can't wait to, I'm going to redo it so that they can get the full 20 week program, which is what they're going to benefit from the, mo the most from. But uh, it was just a lot of fun. Uh, I can't wait to show you some of my results from these kids.